Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Tuesday the 17th of October. As we read through Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians following McShane, we follow his um, discussion with them where he highlights the fact that they'd received the gospel and he'd wanted to come and visit them but had been unable to. The way had been blocked for some reason. And then in his concern he'd sent uh, Timothy to them and Timothy came back not only having encouraged them, but with a good report from them, which had in turn encouraged Paul. Um, and he's talking about how he wants to go and see them. And in verse 11, he writes, Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus clear the way for us to come to you. And as I read that, I thought, that's a, a perspective we all ought to have in our lives. May God clear the way for us to do what it is we're planning to do. And as you read through the, the, the letter, you're aware that Paul has done a lot of arranging and planning. He's sent people, he's written, he's, he's done all the practical aspects of life. And no doubt, he wasn't just going to wait until something happened. He was going to put the plans in place to, to get back to the Thessalonians. He had planned his, his voyages and his trips with that in mind. But despite the fact that he was doing the planning, he knew that it was always under the oversight um, an ultimate authority of God. If God didn't allow it, <laughs> it wouldn't happen. And so he prays, may God enable us, may God clear the way for us to do this, because we depend on God to get this right. And that, that would be such a good perspective to have in our lives, that, that we live our lives under God's auspices and with, with his oversight. And we can do nothing that he doesn't enable and allow us to. And we wouldn't want to. If God has got purposes for us and we try and organize something completely contrary to that or outside of his will and, and his intentions for our lives, no matter how much we organize and plan, we might do it, but I doubt that it'll, be, um, it'll bear fruit. Far better we walk with God and let him direct us. That way our lives will be fruitful. And I can remember back at, at school all those years ago, they're talking about um, abbreviations and, and people would send out invitations and they would say something like we plan to have the, this meeting on the 1st of October at 10 a.m. DV standing for Deo Valenti if God wills which is a good perspective to have they're just putting DV at the end of, <laughs> of whatever you do doesn't mean that you're actually trusting in God but just that perspective we only do these things if God allows it if it's part of God's will and so um, as we go through life, let us be waiting on God. Say, God, guide us. God, shape us. God, direct us. Because we want to live in your will. Outside your will is a pointless existence. Inside your will is fruit and life and abundance. So be encouraged as you walk with God. Listen to God. Um, trust in God. And put yourself in his hands. God, your will be done, not mine. And we are blessed.